we've had a bunch of the guys over the last couple weekends. We've been doing a lot of body work on seven. Uh, we made and designed some of our own tools here for uh, mocking up the sides of the car, making sure that both sides matched, the hood matched from side to side. I'll show you one here real quick. Put parallel lines down on the floor next to the car for doing the side profiles. And then set this up even with that parallel line. Check it with a square to make sure that we're vertical. And then we just loosen and tighten the bolts to get the profile. Uh, how we made this was just threaded rod, a bunch of bolts, and then a 36 inch piece of square stock with holes drilled in it. Now we did have to modify the holes a little bit. We chose bolts that were just slightly bigger than the holes so we could drill them out and make sure they were tight and they would stay straight. Uh, as we walk around the car here now, you can see that we've got kind of a 49 Mercury look going. Uh, with the swooping tail fins uh, kind of etched out on the back here. We kept the tow hitch, narrowed the back of the car by about a foot, cut about two square feet of frontal area off the sides along here where it used to bump out. We were able to, using some techniques we learned from uh, Leroy, Leroy White, we were able to trim some off the side of the car and make it a little more aerodynamic. We still have a bit of a hump here because our rear tires do turn. Um, and we're going to be replacing the, uh, the fiberglass skin with carbon fiber. I don't know if you can see some of the tables, the white table in the background and the white board behind it. Those are actually four by eight sheets of uh, uh, tile board that have been waxed up and we have special tables that we built for uh, making molds on out of carbon fiber. What we'll do is we'll, we'll pull a mold off the side of the car, set it up on the tables, and we'll do some vacuum forming. And we're going to use carbon fiber and honeycomb composite makes a real strong lightweight components. Uh, that's why we're able to shape some uh, of the width off the side here, make it a little more aerodynamic and a little more appealing. Now as you go up the side of the car here, you can see we've also cut some out of the middle. We're going to be removing our door hinges. We're going to try a new style and design of door hinge that allows us to recess the hinge. It's not really easy to do uh, with the going style door, um, but we're, you know, we're, we're willing to cut into it and give it a try. Um, and then as you come up the side of the car, you can see we've also trimmed down a lot the, uh, the side curve. What we've done is we've raised it up. Some of the mistakes we made along the way is we're in a small shop, we've never done this before. We got back from the car and we said, well that needs to be bigger. So what we did is we added to the side of the hump instead of adding height to it. So now we're getting it trimmed down and we're matching up both sides by using these tools. You go down the car every six inches, make a vertical line, adjust your tool, Pair it to the other side, shave it and sand it down. Uh, we've also been able to clean up the front some. It still looks a little dirty here, but we've been grinding into the old material and reforming the hood and the front of the car. We've raised the back of the hood about two inches, making it a little more aerodynamic, and we've been able to trim a little bit off our front edge. Originally, we used a vacuum that came off the front underneath of the car, so we had lowered the front lip of the car by about an inch. Um, that vacuum, as we went down the road, pulled air out from the underneath, and we had uh, introduced air into the engine bay up at the uh, the, the change of angle, the transition, inter the change of angle between the hood and the windshield. We're still going to get our air from there, but instead of creating a vacuum, we're just going to blow it out through the bottom of the car. We've put some holes in the uh, the flat pan that's underneath our engine, or our electric motor, and we're going to blow that out we were able to reduce the uh, frontal area by a half a square foot and reduce some more drag that way. We're still working on the headlights that you can see here. And uh, in the end, what we're going for is kind of a... Uh, to clean up the double body of the car. Most of you have seen lots of pictures and videos of it, but we didn't have a lot of time going into the competition or a lot of skill. Uh, we've had some people help us. We've, we've developed skill and got more equipment, and we're going to make the car a lot smoother and more like we had originally designed. Uh, the, uh, the hood is, as of right now, going to open as a standard hood and just lean back. We'll have separate fenders. All of them will be made out of carbon fiber and Kevlar. We'll get rid of all the excess material that's still in here that we built the car up out of. We're kind of using the car itself as the mold or the, or the plug to make the molds off of.